Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, I wanted to give you a second example of problems that involve position, velocity, and acceleration. Remember that uh, usually we start off with some sort of function that gives us a position, and that when we start taking derivatives, we find things like velocity, acceleration, or even the jerk. So the first derivative is our velocity, second derivative is our acceleration, and the third derivative would be the jerk. So let's check out this problem and see how we can pick it apart and really look for some key terms and figure out what it's trying to do. Uh, in this problem, we have a hammer that is thrown from the surface of the moon and its height is given by the following function. So 32t minus 0.8t squared. Now the way you want to interpret this function is that s is giving us the height of this hammer in meters and t is giving us the time after t seconds. So maybe imagine a picture like this. So we're throwing up a hammer and it eventually, you know, peak at some spot and come back down. So if we want to know how high that hammer was at any given time, we'd simply plug in a time and it'd give us that height. All right, let's see what questions we can answer about this problem. The first thing that we want to know is how long until it reaches its maximum height. All right, now when you first look at this, you know, you, you kind of think of the information you have about, say, its position, and it doesn't really seem like you have enough. After all, this will tell you the height, but I'm not really sure when it will reach the maximum height. Well, think what's happening with our hammer. So it would go up, then gravity would eventually take over, and it'd start to come back down. And this place where it reaches its maximum height is a pretty special one. It happened right here at the vertex. Now notice how the derivative is zero at that point because you're getting a nice horizontal tangent right at that uh, spot. So we want to know where does the velocity equal zero? Because if we can figure out where the velocity is equal to zero, we can take that time and put it into our position and then we'll also know what is its maximum height. All right, so let's give this a try. The very first thing we need to do is just figure out its velocity. So let's go ahead and take one derivative of our position. So let's see, the derivative of 32t, that'd be 32. Derivative of 0.8t squared, so bring down that 2. So I'd get a negative 1.6t. All right, so I want to know where is the velocity equal to 0. So let's grab this entire thing, set it equal to 0, see what we have. All right, so to solve for the t, I'd first want to get my 32 to the other side. So negative 32 equals negative 1.6t. All right, dividing both sides by negative 1.6, I'd get 20 equals t. So careful, this is not the maximum height, but it does tell me how long it takes before it does reach the maximum height, and it looks like it will happen after 20 seconds. So how long until it reaches its maximum height? Let's go ahead and answer that one, 20 seconds. All right, let's see if we can do the second part. What is that maximum height? Well, if I actually want to know the height, then I will return back to the position function and simply put in the 20. So its height, after 20 seconds, let's go ahead and substitute that in there. So 32 times 20 minus 0 0.8, 20 squared. Okay, so a little bit of work to do with this one, not too bad. 32 times 20 would give me 640. Let's see, then I'd have a 20 squared uh, multiplied by a negative 0 0.8. That's negative 320. Subtract the two, 320 meters. So now I can answer the second part of this. Uh, what is its maximum height? 320 meters. Okay, now that's not the only uh, bits of information we can figure out from this problem. Let's look at a couple of other questions. How long before this hammer hits the surface, and when it eventually does hit the surface, what is the velocity when it hits? So we've already done work on finding that velocity, so I've written it up here as well. And we're going to see if we can figure out when this thing will hit the surface. So to answer this first part, uh, we want to know when the height will be zero. So you know, if it does this nice parabolic motion and eventually hits again, that's a spot where the height will be zero. So let's grab our position function and see where this thing could equal zero. Okay, notice how there's a t in both these spots. We can factor that out. Oh, 
Okay, so solving this, I'd end up with two spots where it could equal zero, when t equals zero, or when all of this equals zero. So 32 minus 0 0.8 t, that could equal zero. Well, this little spot is corresponding to when it first leaves the surface of the moon. So it's initial uh, uh, time. I'm not really interested in that. Let's go ahead and solve this guy to see where it hits the surface again. So we want to move that 32 to the other side, negative 32, and divide both sides by a negative 0 0.8. So negative 32 divided by negative 0 0.8, that would give us 40. All right, so now we can answer this question. Uh, how long before the hammer hits the surface? 40 seconds. Now to figure out what the velocity is when it actually hits, that's looking at our velocity function at 40 seconds, so we'll want to plug that value in there. So velocity after 40 seconds, this is 32 minus 1.6 times 40. All right, so a little bit of work, not too bad. Uh, 1.6 times 40 would be a 64. So I have 32 minus 64. I can see that it's going negative 32 meters per second. So what is its velocity? Negative 32 meters per second. All right, and then this one is done. So when you're really looking at these different uh, problems involving, say, position, velocity, acceleration, look for these key words. If it says something like how long or when, then you're looking for a time. And you might be solving the position, you might be solving the velocity. It all depends on maybe some key information in there. If it says what actually is the height or what is the velocity, then you're usually just plugging things into, say, the position or the, the velocity or even the acceleration when you want to know uh, what its uh, value is. All right. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.